Right, this is the shower now. The only thing I'll say about the shower, don't pump it on the shower tray, because a lot of people break the shower trays. Look at the pressure of this wee thing. Let me fill this kettle up. You know, it may be a wee 10 litre thing, but it's still really got to pressure that. And then, um, it's just too full now to get pressurised right. A couple of them holes must be blocked up. You just pump it up and down. And when you get to a certain height, it's easy stuff to then. I, I can't use that until it gets down about to there. Like, you can use it, but you have to pop it more often. I haven't timed it how many minutes you get out of it. But it probably took me 5 10 minutes to do a shower, and probably 10 minutes running up after. I don't use uh, my tea kettle for any water like this. I say the reason why that's slowing down now because she's still up to where is it? I still up to that height. You need to have about that height and then that much air, and then you don't bother getting your shower. But I'd always have it a bit full, and then uh, rather a bit extra. I don't mind pumping once or twice. So I'll boil that water now, and then you add the boiling water into the cold water till you get the right temperature. Job done. This is my wee shower. Now during the day you're walking on them mucky feet and all to use the toilet, or the wee toilet mat and all that. Uh, so it gets a bit grimy after a week or so. And I'll throw everything under the sink and so when you get a shower you wash everything down, it makes it handy like. Now the wee shower curtain. You put down your toilet seat, like so, the wee shower curtain pulls out. Now the only thing is now, the front is lower than the back because we have the caravan part. So I would use a carriage sponge at the end to wipe it all out. And when the, the shower curtain is out, it's quite cosy in here. you got ventilation there. So you get the idea. It's quite spacious enough. You can't throw water in this part. I would set the thing up in here. Everything in a caravan takes much longer, but the only thing is, you have much longer to do things. If you're in the house, you just I would set that up there. It increases the water pressure. Then you can, uh, is this score or not? Increases the water pressure, but I wouldn't pump it up. I wouldn't pump it while it's on the tray, because a lot of caravans the trays break because you're always walking on the tray to go to the toilet. The tray can end up breaking, and then when I finish down, I'll just wash down the screen. But it's a very small room, but it's unbelievably. You would be surprised just how much space there is. And there's my arm out there, like. So it's plenty good for showering, like. And it heats up very quickly. A wee bit of water, and you're nice and warm in here. Warm in here, really, but it's a warm day anyway. But it's just, it's what everything's so the plastic takes a while to dry. Now, if you're away for a weekend, you can just use a towel. But like, I have an all week to go, what to do a wet towel, so I'll just use the sponge, push the water to the drain hole, it'll still be a wee bit wet, and just wait that dries itself. But uh, I was hoping to get a proper show there at the campsite, but it's not really happened, so. But I got the water every off. The old caravan, I had a display cabinet up here and I would put it on the toilet and uh, the curtain would have been behind me. Same idea, so you're, you're facing away from uh, the one but that's not waterproof. Because the water goes in there, that's not waterproof there. So that wee kettle's boiling up now. So I reckon it's no problem this time you get a nice warm shower. Get all soapy up. Kettle's boiling out. Doesn't matter adding that now to this water and popping it up. getting the temperature right. And then night time then, you have to have all your blinds down, get the ambiance light on. Yeah, I mean, have that open as well. I have the two windows slightly open each side as well. So it's going to be a warm night. I will turn this light off then, and I put on this wee light here. Pound shaft for two pound, if I can find the on switch. 
Where's the on switch? What is the oh. That's only two pounds then the pound shop. And I've pointed it doesn't show up well on the camera, but you point it against the wall. So you have a nice wee light around the place. One at a time I'd use that wee light there. And uh, put a wee bit of red light, depending on where you are. So I've added it in the hot water now and that's it.